So to start with, we'll start with the E minor chord. We're, we're going to let that ring for four counts. And the key here really is, as a beginner, as soon as you strum the first chord, start to move to the next position. Start to move to the next chord. So don't hang about. Don't worry if you, it doesn't ring out for the full four counts at the moment. Just strum the chord, change to the next chord, but make sure that you're following the pulse as I play. So I'll be playing uh, on a, a count of four beats. We want to be strumming the next chord on the first beat, the first count in the sequence. So I'll be playing E minor like this. So uh, if I just demonstrate the sequence to you uh, to start with, and then we'll talk about uh, common notes that they both share, uh, E and G, and then we'll look at how D and A have uh, notes that are very close together to help you with those chord changes. So this is the chord sequence we're going to, uh, we're going to learn to play and what it sounds like. I was tapping on the body there so you could hear the, the pulse, the count of the four beats that we're playing to. So let's go for, to our first chord, E minor. That was string five and four on fret two. Now, if I just move my fingers from E minor to G, you'll notice that my first finger, it doesn't move to a different string. So both E minor and G both share this note on the fifth string second fret. Now what happens, obviously with E minor, I'm, I've got both fingers on the, uh, the second fret and my first finger is a little bit towards the back of the fret making room for both fingers. As I move to the G chord, what I want to happen is my first finger to slide up close to the fret along the string. So I'm gonna, going to be sliding backwards and forwards along that fifth string as I change from E minor to G. I'll just demonstrate that now and you can see what I mean. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You see that sort of sliding and moving back? I'm sliding backwards and forwards along the fifth string with my first finger. There we go. So what I, what I don't want to happen is to strum the chord and take my fingers away only to put them back on, or one of them back on, on the same string where it's come from. So try to look for common notes or common strings that uh, your, the chords share. That enables you to change chord, uh, only having to move one or two fingers, speeding the chord change up. <clears throat> so just focusing on the chord change of E and G now, we'll play those two chords, letting the E chord ring for four counts, moving to G and letting that ring for four counts. And we'll just you know, sort of revolve around that for a few minutes. One, two, one, two, three, four. Change, 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 change. Try that one more time. E minor to G. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, great. So now let's look at the second uh, chord change we can do, which is the D to A chord change. 